Tom Cotton is an Arkansas Republican running for the Senate, and we've been speaking about him quite a bit lately because he's been saying ridiculous things. Well, last night was no exception. He had a debate with his Democratic opponent, and on the issue of Obamacare, he gave us an epic facepalm moment. When he was asked specifically about the pre-existing conditions provision of Obamacare, which of course mandates that insurance companies can't reject you if you were sick in the past, uh, he said, I'm against that provision. Now, understand how strange this is, because the standard Republican talking point for the longest time now has been, oh, what do you mean? Uh, us Republicans were always in favor of the good parts of Obamacare from the beginning, okay? The whole thing about uh, getting kicked off of your policy once you hit your lifetime cap. Oh, we were against the idea of lifetime caps to begin with. Oh, we were in favor of uh, allowing... Uh, kids to stay on their parents' health insurance until the age of 26 and moving it up from whatever it was before 21 or something like that. We were in favor of that all along. We were always against pre-existing conditions. Now, the reality is that's all yap, 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 nothing but talk because they never proposed a bill for it and they've consistently in the past voted against measures that would move in that direction. So they're just lying when they say that. But dumbass Tom Cotton forgot that he was supposed to lie about that. He forgot that he was supposed to pretend like, no, no, the good parts of Obamacare I'm on board with. I just don't like the rest of the law. He just, he walked right into the trap. He fell right into it. Nope, uh, pre-existing conditions, insurance companies kicking you off or not allowing you onto the rolls because of that. I'm in favor of it. We need to give these health insurance companies their rights. Oh God, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. Not only that, he said, get this, people with pre-existing conditions were happier before Obamacare. Oh, that's so dumb. See, this is the thing about Republicans. They'll even deny tautologies, like something that's true just because it's true. Like you don't even need, there's no, you don't, no argument necessary where you have some building blocks and you work up to it. There's no logical jumps or anything. It's just this. Here, I'll lay it out for you. Before Obamacare, you couldn't get insurance if you had a pre-existing condition. Afterwards, you can. He's like, uh, no, the people with pre-existing conditions liked it better before. When they didn't get coverage, then they went bankrupt, or they died. They love that. Can't take it. I can't take it. Now, uh, I'm going to give you his exact quote, and then I can't wait to give you the response from his Democratic opponent. Quote, many people were happy with their coverage under the high-risk pool before it was eliminated. They should have been allowed to keep that choice. It wasn't a choice. They couldn't get insurance, so they were forced into this shitty program. So what he's talking about is the last resort option. And how well did that really work? Let me give you some facts. Quote, many of the high-risk pools Cotton praised were known for their sky-high costs, exclusion of many applicants, and strict limits on what care is covered. In Arkansas, out-of-pocket costs for patients in such pools could be as high as $20,000, and those with pre-existing conditions had an average six-month waiting period for care. Okay, that was a terrible system. It was so bad. But here comes the skull-cracking response from his Democratic opponent. Quote, I am a cancer survivor. I have been in the high-risk pool. I have lived there. It's no place for any Arkansan to be. If we go back to the high-risk pool, it's like throwing sick people to the wolves. Okay. Gut punch, gut punch, left hook, uppercut. Knocked out on the ground, bleeding from his ears. Tom Cotton, you are an epic idiot, and you just got owned.